the global economy is in dire straits. In most developed economies, unemployment has risen faster than any other recession, shares have taken a tumble, and many countries are showing early signs of big declines in production. Most of us would now know somebody out of a job or who's lost money on their investments. But how does any of this relate to the coronavirus? Well, to put it plainly, many parts of the economy rely on people meeting each other and exchanging goods, services, and skills. But this is also how the virus is transmitted. So to stop the virus, we have to stop part of the economy. With people not eating out, going shopping, or traveling, there's a big reduction in spending. Economists would call this a reduction in demand. At the same time, many people either have to work from home, where they're less productive, or they've lost their jobs. This reduces the amount that's being produced, and that is a reduction in supply. So we can see that there's a reduction in demand and supply. Most bad economic downturns are caused by a fall in either one of these. A rapid fall in both could be much worse. To make the point more clear, we can draw some comparisons to the last major economic downturn, the global financial crisis that started in 2007. During the GFC, a buildup of bad debt led to a banking crisis and eventually increases in unemployment. Over the 10 years since then, we've had a similar buildup of debt in developed economies, creating a backdrop of instability. But what's different to the GFC is that the virus has shut down an even broader section of the economy within the space of a few weeks. This means we've been pushed into a downturn much faster than we would have been otherwise. So now that we know what's happening and why, what impacts might we see over the next 12 months? Well, the truth is that it's too early to say for certain. Most economists agree we'll see a global recession. That is, the size of the global economy will shrink over the course of the next few months. In fact, Australia is likely to have its first recession since 1991. That didn't even happen during the GFC. The question now is how deep and how long the recession will be. What we can say for sure is that the longer the lockdown lasts, the longer the recession will be, the more companies will experience financial distress and the more unemployment we will expect. These things are all correlated. They move together. So where to from here? Well, this all sounds a bit doom and gloom, but nothing set in stone. Governments around the world have stepped in to support companies and individuals, and they've dropped interest rates to record lows to help people to pay their debts. Whether it's enough to prevent more businesses going under and an unemployment crisis is something we won't know for a while. We also don't know how long it will be until we can allow the economy to go back to normal. It all depends on the spread of the virus. If we allow things to go back to normal too quickly, we could do more damage to health and the economy than the lockdowns are. So what's for sure is that at the end of it all, there'll be a big bill to pay, but that's a price that we're willing to pay to save lives. That's it for this video. Stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you next time.